The final thing I'd like to do is show you how we can check to see whether a particular data point has a big influence on the, the model and the statistics. What we'll do, let's copy whenever we can, here's the model, grab all that, paste it down here. Now instead of using DD, we'll use DD, oh we'll use slice because we just want to remove the 39th row, which is the 39th individual. Let's just check that by looking at the data set. 39, number 39. Is this extreme? Yes, it's this extreme um, individual. Statistically extreme. Okie dokie. So we do that. Let's just check to see that works. We'll run just that part that's highlighted. 241 rows. Good. And we won't call it M1. We want to keep that for purposes of comparison. We'll call it M2. Fit that model. Looks like it's worked. Create the diagnostic plots, of course. Now, I'm, not, I'm not sure why that error is coming up. I'll just run load GG Fortify again. See if it now works. Yes. Sometimes are does weird things. Okay, um, so we get these shotgun blasts here and here. Uh, that's what we want to see. That's good. Um, normal QQ. So everything looks looks more or less the same. We don't have this single data point that was way down here. Let's have a look at the summary table. And we'll also just get at the same time the summary table for M1. Let's see if I can fit both of these on together. Well, let's just look at the coefficient. So up here, this is the slope for weight in the absence of individual 39, minus 0.132. Um, and here it's minus 0.014. So the relationship gets a little bit weaker, uh, but it's still highly significant. Here the abdomen, here is the abdomen slope in the absence of that individual 0.98 near us and here it's about 0.99 so it gets a bit weaker again 72% of the variability we have 248 degrees of freedom because there was one less individual one less observation is 249 so it's actually a very very similar model um, even though that individual is kind of, kind of out there an outlier when we remove it, it changes very little and it certainly wouldn't change in this case our um, conclusions, the qualitative conclusion that we made that body fat is probably very well predicted by weight and abdomen measurements. So perfect. So we could state in the results section um, we checked for the importance of this particular individual and, it, uh, and the results were not qualitatively sensitive to that individual being in or out of the data set. We can't state that the results are quantitatively insensitive because they are a little bit, um, but certainly qualitatively. So everything is the same, even quantitatively, it's, it's really close. So um, that's just checking for robustness. Perfect. That is the end of this multi set of multiple regression uh, videos. So I um, hope you've enjoyed them. And um, I hope they set you up well for the practical that's coming up. Thanks.